for the November 13th election starts on Saturday. Tonight, Taylor Tool reports on some of the amendments you'll see on the ballot. The November 13th election is just around the corner and you can cast your vote on four amendments to the state's constitution. Right now, we'll take a closer look at amendments one and two. I spoke with Stephen Procopio, policy director for the Public Affairs Research Council of Louisiana. He tells me the First Amendment is a major reform of how the state collects sales tax. However, the amount of sales tax you pay will not change. This would move to a centralized sales tax collection system. It'd be collected by a commission that would have four state representatives and four representatives of local government, and they would be one place that everyone would send their uh, taxes, taxes to. He notes there's a different tax collector for each parish. Procopio also says this proposed amendment won't really affect you much, but it will be a huge administrative relief to those businesses collecting taxes and remitting them. This would be a, 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 a much more efficient way of doing it, though it would mean that the locals would have less control over it because they'd have shared power with the state. If it's voted against, sales tax collection would stay at the parish level. As for proposed amendment two, Procopio says a yes vote would lead to a major reform of both the individual and corporate income tax systems. It would also get rid of the deduction on state income taxes paid to the federal government. You would have lower tax rates. It would drop some, the top rate would drop from 6% to 4.25%. You would also see um, a reduction in the corporate tax rate and a reduction in uh, corporate franchise taxes as well. A no vote would simply oppose this, keeping the current system and leaving in place the higher rates when compared to the rest of the country. But Procopio says you would be able to keep the deduction on your federal taxes. We're one of only two states that has allows for full deduction of the federal taxes that you pay. Uh, this would uncouple us from that and probably add some more stability into how uh, the budget is being done because there could be changes in Washington, D.C. that will then affect how our taxes are collected here, and this would uncouple us from that and give us a little more stability. Procopio says overall most people will see a small tax cut from a yes vote on Amendment 2 unless you itemize your deductions. Then you might see a small tax increase. For more information, you can visit our website, KATC.com. In downtown Lafayette, Taylor Tool, KATC TV3. And again, early voting starts on Saturday. It lasts from October 30th through November 6th, except for Sunday, at your parish's Registrar of Voters office. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is November 9th. Voters affected by Hurricane Ida are encouraged to check their polling locations to see if they changed because of damage from the storm.